we have got a massive elephant bull which I'm going to try and get a view for he's going to pop out it's just over here it is a big elephant bull it's I haven't quite seen an elephant bull of his size for a very very long time and not necessarily tusk size because it looks like that one is actually broken but in terms of his body size he is a monster he must be a good five and a half tons but hopefully he'll come out for us both of them look like he's broken both of his tusks look at him he's an old boy he's definitely in his 50s I reckon he's probably coming to the end of his life now in the last 10 year stretch he is huge hey David yeah. he's a, he is really a very very big elephant now we're on the fire break and he's moving away from the fire break but we'll try and stick with him as long as we can and you can see of course the bar is going to pop into frame every now and then we still have our roof on because we weren't sure as to what the weather was going to do but he is just plowing his way through all of this vegetation with absolute ease my goodness he must he must be an absolute he's he's huge he must be the maximum weight and height that an elephant can get he easily standing just over four meters tall at the shoulder now i wish he would come out into the open so i could just show you how he even dwarfs trees big trees and he is he's massive even Daryl, that big elephant that we sometimes see, see, he can't even compete with this elephant bull. He's just that much bigger. And those tusks you saw, you can imagine how massive they must have been. They're both sliced off. And I'm sure that they're quite sort of sharp edges. Might be able to hear him munching and flapping his ears. Now, as we look at his tusks, I'm sure a couple of you are wondering if they will regrow. And Tracy, you've actually just asked that question. Will his tusks regrow? They will indeed, but you see they don't grow from the tip. Is it broken, David? It does look like it is broken. Yeah, yeah, there we go. It's sliced. We haven't had the greatest view of him. He's walking through all this thick stuff. So it grows at the base. So it's like a tooth. Um, or it is, essentially, it is a tooth. It's just a modification of a tooth. Uh, so, so Tracy, they're, they're growing at the base. And there's, if any of you have ever seen ivory and i hope that you haven't but sadly i have in zambia we came across many elephants that were poached and we had to remove the tusks if the poachers hadn't got away what i'll do dev is should i go back a little bit we'll go back and then hopefully we'll get him as he comes out this next gap because the vegetation is starting to thin out now so we'll just wait patiently for him because i think this could be definitely could be worth it if he comes out over here actually wait david we'll get a view is this a road no it's not a road i thought it was a road Oh no, don't go that way elephant, just turn like this, you can just sort of see him. So it's very sad but I have seen um, massive ivory from an elephant that was poached and it was so fresh, it was done that night, they caught the poachers and they confiscated the, the, the ivory from them. You will not believe the nerves that uh, they have. I'm actually going to try and draw it for you while you look at this elephant. It's very difficult to explain, but I think if I draw it, I'll be, maybe do a better job. So I shall just get my notebook out and find a blank page. But, right, let's do this page over here. Uh, just as you watch him, he's moving quite a bit. Right, let me quickly draw these this elephant I'm not I'm not gonna do a very good job at drawing an elephant but it'll just give you an idea big tusks not a very good elephant but as you go okay cool what I want to show you is he's moving off but we'll try and catch him again he's not in a particular hurry actually let me put it here so Okay, it's a very it's a terrible elephant. Please don't laugh at my elephant. I don't I don't actually want you to even see that What I want to show you with the tusk and I don't know why his tusks are pointing to the sky But they are this morning, but over here that little line that is sort of where the tusk disappears that we can't see anymore in the folds of skin but in 
this little bit here. It's almost like a casing and it is just nerves. And what it reminded me of was actually an octopus tentacle. So if you think of the shape of an octopus tentacle without the little suction caps, um, but sort of that long with a point to the tip and, and then it's weird. It's quite fibrous as well, um, but it's just muscles and things like that and all the nerve endings that are all in here. But it's almost, I would say at least almost two thirds of the tusk has actually got those nerve endings. So if that elephant had broken his tusks, I reckon another ruler's length um, further up than what they are at the moment, he would have, uh, it actually would have been quite painful for him because he would have hit the nerves. There's so much of it that we don't get to see. Um, and and it's it's actually it's it's really strange because obviously when they need to store that ivory now and keep it for safekeeping so it doesn't get into the wrong hands is they have to remove all those nerves and they come out so easily all they do is one person holds the other end the tip of the ivory and the other person grabs on with gloves off their bare hands where the nerves are and it goes literally makes that noise and it all pulls out and this long looks like an octopus tentacle but massive but I mean really 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 thick so it, it's it's quite sad um, to see something like that let me go back let's see if we can get another view of this Ellie maybe if we go down sandy patch